Billy is saved from a bear. Robbie and Brian and Billy were the best boys they could be. Dad said, because you boys are the best, I'm taking you out west. We're off to the Rocky Mountains, to the land of the Black Hawk Indians. On top of the mountain, the sun beamed bright. The boys saw a beautiful sight. There was a lake that was bluer than blue by a babbling brook, the buttercups bloom. Nearby, a beaver was building a dam. A bighorn sheep watched with her lamb. Away from the lake, by the river bend, a badger dozed beside his den. A bald eagle burst from the trees and glided away on the evening breeze. Nobody was there, no one in sight. No buildings, no lights. Listen, there's no noise, Dad said to the boys. They listened. They heard bees buzzing. They heard rabbits bouncing and hopping. They heard birds sing and butterflies flapping. They heard trees sway and a breeze blow. They heard a cloud burst and saw a rainbow. One day Billy got too brave and too bold. He left the trail at the bend in the road. Billy climbed up through brambles and bushes, over boulders and under branches. Then his boot got stuck in a root. Something began to growl and grunt. A big brown bear stood up. He opened his mouth to bite. Billy was filled with fright. Out of the bushes from behind the trees, six Indian braves from the Black Hawk tribe bellowed and shouted and cried. They ran between Billy and the bear. The bear bounded off somewhere. The Indians wore buckskin covered with beads. Their long black hair was in braids. They had headbands with feathers of blue. As quickly as they came, they disappeared from view. Billy ran back to his dad and brothers. Billy sobbed. It was terrible. It was horrible. There was a big brown bear. Six brave Indians with long black hair saved me from the bear. Billy led Dad and Robbie and Brian back up the mountains to thank the Indians. But there was nothing to see. Dad said, Saved by Indians from a bear. You can't fool me. To this day, no one believes Billy, except you and me.